everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm gonna go through a procedure here and show everyone how to remove your crossbars, your rip bars, from any vehicle that uh, you have them on Toyotas. A lot of times they come with them, RAV4s, in this case, that's what this is. Um, most models seem to have come with them and uh, most of the people don't even use them. Um, not that it's a bad thing to have in case you do need them, but if you're not using them, it's uh, it's not a, a bad idea to go ahead and take them off. Uh, and there's been a lot of studies that show how just having these two crossbars, um, how much fuel they waste and uh, on the highways. City driving, you're not gonna notice it so much, but at highway speeds, um, it can cost you um, one to three miles a gallon, depending on the vehicles they showed. And at the price of fuel, why just throw it away? And uh, to tell you the truth, it looks, the vehicles typically look better. They look cleaner without the crossbars on. And just the crossbars themselves also can cause additional noise and stuff, especially if you have a sunroof like this vehicle does and you have the sunroof open. So it'll be quieter without them. So let's go ahead and get these taken off. Um, so any any vehicle with them will have a little kit. This came in a little bag uh, with the tools and the and the keys that uh, right here um, and anything that you need for that vehicle. So let's go ahead and see what this one says, and we will go from there so this one yeah some of them have little that's what these are so uh, this is the four this is the four covers is what this is so when you take these out these covers will snap into place here for this and right away you can see aerodynamically if it doesn't have this hump sticking out how that'll make a difference you ever driving down the road just stick your hand out you'll feel how much wind resistance you'll get from that so and then the little the little locks are right there and that's what these that's what these keys are and they give you two of them so that's nice in case you lose one so, and then this is a a little tool a little uh to tighten or lo loosen them. And it's actually a built-in torque wrench with this piece when you're putting them on. So it appears, oh, there we go. You just got it, ah, yeah. a little force. Oh, I see, yeah, there's two, two pins there that align. Oh, they go into these. I see what they do. Okay. Oh, that's where a little tool comes into play. Right there. So. And that's nice. It actually appears there's only just one bolt on either side. So. Let me go around to the other side and I'll take that one off real quick. Okay. And unlock position. There we go. Okay, yeah, it seems to appear the easiest way was pulling up on the front part of it. Wow. Interesting. Toyota never uses odd numbers, but that is actually a 13. <laughs> 13 millimeter. Okay. Yeah, that one's completely loose. I'll do the other side. Okay. 
loose. There we go. Perfect. Ah, perfect. The whole thing is off. And the nice thing, if you ever did need to use it and to put something on top here to, to mount something, um, I mean, this literally, once you kind of realize how it goes together, um, you could put them back on in literally five minutes. So it's not like it's a, a time consuming affair. So, and then we'll snap the, I'll go around, I'll take that one off first and then we'll snap these covers off. Now what I'll do is I'll just kind of clean this up and wipe it down and then we'll snap the covers in. So if you look at the, if you look at the little covers, there's two, two long tabs here and there's two little short tabs and there's a little, a little divot right there. So you can get a pry tool in or a screwdriver or something like that to pop it out. So the long, the long clips and the divot go toward the inside or the middle of the vehicle. So you put the short ones in first and then snap down and it just clips right in. So, all right. Do the two on the other side here and they're different. They're different lengths also. So the shorter one goes toward the front. dirt and stuff under there from where the racks were but oh, that looks so much better already it's so much cleaner looking without those especially over the sunroof so I really I really like how much cleaner it is so I'll just clean this up and it'll be done so that's how simple that is to remove them and I see people driving around with them all the time and uh, think about how much fuel it wastes for them. So, I mean, why just throw away money for nothing, guys? Take five minutes, take them off, have the vehicle look better, and uh, save a little gas. So, I mean, if you can get one to three miles a gallon better, why not? So, anyway, well, some things are simple and can have a nice benefit and save you some money. So appreciate that. If uh, things like this 
make sense to you, let me know. Reach out, say something in the comments. And I uh, appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe. Share this with other people that you might know that have uh, a RAV4 or a similar Toyota that uh, has the roof racks on and they never use it for uh, um, putting anything on or attaching anything to the crossbars. So until next time, guys, we'll see you down the road.